we're at DVD 2018 and I'm speaking with John Stretton, Head of Defence, Ricardo UK Limited. John, uh, Ricardo, it's, it's a name that many have probably heard, but I suspect few really have any idea the, the length, breadth and width of Ricardo's footprint uh, globally within defence. C- could you give us a few details of the actual size and depth of Ricardo? Yeah, absolutely, Sean. So Ricardo is a, a UK PLC quoted on the London Stock Exchange. We're between 350, 400 million sterling turnover per annum. Um, we've got 31 locations around the world and we're a full service engineering consultancy. So everything from concept through to complete systems, architectures and also production. So we get involved in production for things like Foxhound for the UK MOD, which we designed from a clean sheet of paper uh, for the LPPV requirement. We get, get involved with managing through life support. So we're the PDS contract holders for Wimic, Snatch, uh, and in partnership with Morgan, we run the Mastiff PDS program for UK MOD. Over the years, we, we've been established since 2015. The first ever product the company designed and manufactured to establish the company was the engine for the main battle tank in the First World War, so the Mark V tank, to replace what was a Daimler unit at the time. And we've got a long established history in, in diesel technology and diesel engines. More recently, uh, we've grown into electrification. So with the move of the premium automotive industry and the global truck industry, we're designing electrification and hybrid systems through all the various voltage categories, um, both in light, high performance through to heavy duty truck. We're involved in maritime, uh, looking uh, a lot at converting heavy fuel bunker engines to compressed uh, natural gas, liquefied natural gas, to reduce the emissions burden in the uh, maritime fleet. We do work globally on both surface and subsurface vessels in military. Uh, we competed a program uh, a few years ago on the Collins class submarine in Australia, looking at the breathing capabilities of the diesel uh, in the Collins class submarine. And we're currently involved in a number of maritime programs today. Um, the majority of our defence business is focused twofold in, uh, in Europe uh, from the UK. And then we have a separate defence business which we run in the US for the de- for the US only, and that's uh, incorporated in the US with US citizens. And we've got a couple of uh, army generals on the main board there, so that allows us to work with with Tardec and Takeom, looking at future research programmes, uh, which is really important in, in the market for us over there. Um, as a business, over the years, we uh, probably 10, 15 years ago, we were predominantly light land systems. Uh, we now span right across the, uh, the, the spectrum of, of UK MOD land systems and we've done uh, energy efficiency studies on the main battle tank. We've, um, we've looked at uh, things like axle upgrades and suspension system changes on the protective mobility fleet and uh, we get called in as technical support. Uh, so the recent discussions we've seen around Boxer uh, we were asked to support UK MOD when they were looking at various platforms and give them technical advice to their questions uh, o- over time. Uh, and in terms of, of, of defence turnover, what sort of percentage does that account for of, Ric- of Ricardo's total? Yes, yeah, so in terms of turnover, it, it varies quite dramatically depending on the type of programme. So in a year where, such as Foxhound, we were manufacturing a lot of vehicles and doing a lot of the engineering work it was as much as 20 percent of turnover um, but it can vary between between five and 25 percent depending on the on the year and, and and finally john looking around here at dvd um what what vehicles might we see that ha- have had or are having some input from ricardo that you can discuss um, so in terms of the vehicles, I haven't had a chance to go around the show yet this morning, Sean, but uh, in terms of vehicles that will be on display that uh, Ricardo has, if you like, breathed on, um, for want of a better expression, then we've got uh, the DeVenture vehicle, which is a, a special forces capability, which is a Dutch vehicle, where we've been supporting them in some of the development work um, uh, over there and they're demonstrating that vehicle over here today on the off-road circuit. Um, I've, I've mentioned earlier um, we, we designed and developed Wimmick Snatch 
Foxhound, which is a was a, a, a Ricardo clean sheet paper design vehicle originally, before it uh, went into service, and and the system got acquired by by GD. Um, and then, if you look at the the Mastiff, uh, Cougar, Ridgeback vehicles, then Ricardo's been engaged with that for the last four to five years, doing systems upgrades and developments, braking, axles, um, engine optimization, and so forth. Excellent. Thank you very much indeed. Okay.